Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today in our prenatal yoga session. I hope everyone is having a great day. Items we may need for our class today is a yoga block, maybe a yoga strap, and a bolster pillow. Now, these items are optional. And maybe grab something to drink, some water, something to stay hydrated with. And if you choose, maybe you can dull your lights or light a candle, set your diffuser, anything you feel as though you may need to get relaxed here today. As we find our bodies in a comfortable, easy seat, I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you as we are using the seat to ground and center our minds and our bodies. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken. We wanna keep our backs nice and straight, which creates more room for baby. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. Eyes gaze down or closed with our palms placed flat down on our laps. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath relaxes and soothes the body. Two breaths, silent meditation. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good. Three breaths of silence. As we breathe our palms above our head and our salute, palms are together, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens, filling our spinal cord, get nice and long here. And maybe we can interlace our fingers, allowing our arms to flow to the back, heart chakra comes up, chin slightly up, feeling this slight back bend. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing down to prayer. As we straighten our arms out to the side, we're gonna work on the upper parts of our bodies. Our arms are straight out as we do circular rotations to the front. We can go small or we can go big, or we can rotate between the two, maybe trying them both out and doing which one feels best for you and your body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pulse and rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, breathing our fingertips onto our shoulders. As we rotate our shoulders towards the back, doing a couple of shoulder rolls here. We're simply just loosening up the upper parts. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, rotating our shoulders forward. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, bringing our palms back out towards the side as we breathe them above our head in our salute, interlacing our hands together, arms fall to the back, heart chakras open, chin slightly up, maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. 
exhale and back to center, breathing down to our prayer. As we allow our palms to relax on the sides of our bodies. Palms are relaxed on the sides of our bodies. Eyes are gazed down, spinal cords nice and long. Using the palms to connect with the earth. Going inward. Taking a moment to be aware of our environment. Noticing what's going on around us. And during this session, we may hear noises. We may become distracted. Whatever it may be, may we take notice of what is going on without judgment. Only allowing in what is soothing and comforting to us in our practice. Breathe in. Exhale. Finding our bodies in the staff position makes our parallel side by side. Backs are nice and long. And if our tummies are a little big, maybe we can slightly widen our legs and our staff, just creating a little bit of space for baby as we take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Maybe we can breathe our palms above our heads, not salute. And exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, maybe reaching our fingers down to our ankles or the bottom parts of our feet, allowing our heart chakra to come closer towards the earth with our eyes gazed down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold, heart chakra slightly up. Breathing back to our staff pose. As we come into a bound position, maybe into a butterfly or a diamond, bringing our feet together, our feet are bounded. We are in our butterfly, meaning our feet are closer towards our torso, or we can be in our diamond. Our feet are slightly further away from our bodies. This is a hip opener, doing whatever pose feels best for you, ensuring that our spinals are nice and long. And maybe we can do a couple of seated hip cows by opening up that heart chakra, allowing the chin to slightly come up and feeling the curvature in our spinal cord. We are in our cow pose, maybe allowing our head to melt between our shoulder blades. As we exhale to cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room, but we're gonna come into a slight cat. We don't wanna come too deep in our cat if we have a big belly. Keeping in mind that when we, when we bend our backs inward, we swish baby. So we always wanna keep a nice elongated spine or be aware of when we're going in too deep. So please keep that in mind when we're doing our cat pose. Two breaths. Exhaling back to our cow, heart chakras open, chin up. Low into our cat. Breathing back to our diamond or our butterfly as we slightly hinge at the hips, positioning our bodies to get comfortable, creating that space for baby as we slightly hinge at the hips, maybe reaching down, touching our feet, allowing our eyes to gaze down or close. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming back up to that seated position. As we take our left hand and connect it to our left foot. So reaching our left foot up in the air, we have our left foot in our hand. We're gonna work on a boat pose variation. Maybe straightening out that left leg towards the side. So straightening out that leg, legs slightly off to the side. Notice how this feels inside of our hips. We are working on opening up our hips a little more. Mm -hmm. Taking natural breaths, being aware of how this feels in our body. 
ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long. As we bring that leg back inwards, we're gonna switch sides, taking the right hand to the right foot, lifting the right foot up in the air and extending that right foot off to the side. Feeling that stretch, you can feel it behind your legs and the hamstrings here. Opening up the hip flexors, two more breaths. Bringing that foot back in, we are back inside our bound position, but not for long. We're gonna give it a try and try to bring both hands into our, both feet into our hands. Maybe starting out on the left side again, left foot, left hand. If this is okay, we're gonna go right foot, right hand. Both of our feet are off the earth. We're gonna work on a vocal variation here, straightening out that left leg, noticing how this feels in the body. As we extend the opposite leg, now we are in our boat pose variation. They also call this bear pose. We're gonna hang out here, feeling the stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long, we don't wanna fall downwards. When we have our spinal cord nice and long, it keeps our bodies up. As we bring our legs back in, coming back into our bounce position, finding our bodies, finding our bodies in our butterfly or our diamond pose. As we breathe to our seated cow, heart chakra comes open, chin slightly up. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Breathing back to our bound position. As we use our hands to bring our legs inward, we're going to flow into a tabletop position. Coming on to our hands and our knees. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, tummies come downward towards the earth. Chin comes slightly up, feeling that slight curvature, feeling that slight back bend, shall I say, two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spine the cord goes up in the air. Rolling back to our cow. And maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna work on a sunbird pose, right side, bringing that right leg straight out to the back, feeling that stretch. Both of our palms are flat on the earth as we are gaze forward. And maybe we can lift that right leg up nice and high, feeling that Gluteus Maximus crunch there. Working on lifting and rounding our Gluteus Maximus. We're going to hold this pose for two breaths, gazing forward. As we slightly lower that leg, maybe if we choose, we can extend that left arm, finding our bodies in our full sunburn, gazing forward, allowing this pose to balance and strengthen the mind and body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table as we drop down to our cow, ensuring that our elbows are not bent. Flow into our cat. Breathing back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, bringing that left leg out towards the back, nice and high. Feeling that stretch, lifting that left leg up nice and high. As we are gazing forward, maybe doing a couple of pulses, we are rounding and lengthening the opposite side of our gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, slightly lowering that leg, and maybe we extend that right arm forward as we are gazing forward. We are in our full sunbird here, balancing and strengthening the body. Four breaths.
few more breaths. Exhaling back to our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhaling to our cat. Lowing back to our table. As we reach our right arm up towards the heavens, slightly gazing up at that arm, opening up our heart chakra here, feeling this stretch. And we're going to thread the needle, threading that right arm through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our shoulder blades melt forward. As we allow our eyes to gaze down with a close, as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And if it feels good, maybe we can wrap that left arm around our backs. Or extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Using this pose to relax and soothe. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table as we drop down to that cow. Exhale into that cat. Going back to our table as we lift that left arm up towards the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, gazing up at that left hand, feeling a stretch as we thread the needle opposite side. Left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra melts downward, eyes close your gaze down. Allow the body to relax and soothe right here. And if we choose, we can wrap that right arm around our backs. We'll extend that arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. <sighs> Just for a second, as we bring that right leg up towards the back, both of our palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna work on a tiger pose. Maybe we can bend that knee, put this up in the air, lifting the foot up high, noticing how that crunches the gluteus max. Now we are in our tiger. And we can go deeper in our tiger if we choose, reaching up and connecting either the right or the left hand to our foot. Having that foot in your hand, and reaching up, feeling that stretch here. Tiger pose. Maybe we can hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that table. As we switch sides, bringing that left foot towards the back, bending that knee, lifting that gluteus maximus up. And if we choose, we can come deeper in our tiger by connecting that hand to that foot and feeling a stretch. This is a balancing pose. Three more breaths. <laughs> As we, yes, give it a try, uh-huh. Noticing how this feels. Maybe switching hands, seeing how it feels with the opposite hand. Sometimes we can get in a pose with the opposite hand, yes. As we come on out, we are back in our tabletop. As we drop down to our cows, 
Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our damn dog, maybe a wide leg if we have big bellies, gazing back at our feet. <sighs> maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog. As we find our pause, shifting our bodies forward, coming into a high plank, we are working on building strength in the upper parts of our body. If high plank is not good for us in this moment, we can drop to our knees or we can come to a low plank. Whatever feels good for you. Three breaths. As we exhale down to our low plank or our chaturanga, if we're able, hovering over that yoga mat. As we come on to a puppy pose, we're gonna bend our knees, put our in the air. We are in a puppy pose, but axes high in the air, heart chakra melts down towards the earth. Palms are extended in front of us. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing our heart chakra to melt forward as we relax and soothe four breaths. Two more breaths. From this puppy pose, maybe we can flow into a child's pose, widening our legs, allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. We can place a pillow between our thighs if that feels good for us. We'll place a pillow in front of us as we hang out here in our child's pose with our eyes gazed down or closed. Taking natural breaths here. Two more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, if they were not already, we are in our extended child's pose. As we are slightly gazed forward, using our palms to push our bodies up. We're gonna do a couple of spinal waves. So using the palms to push our torso forward, using the palms to push our torso towards the back. We are waving our spinal cord. This is a relaxing and soothing pose. Yes. Three more spinal waves. Maybe you can apply your neck rotation into the mix, loosening up and relaxing the cervical spine. So simply allowing the body to completely relax here in our spinal wave. Having fun, we're gonna do a bonus of three more breaths. Two more breaths, relaxing and soothing of the body. And maybe we can find our pause in our spinal wave and do a couple of circular rotations at our hips, loosening and relaxing the hips. So we are moving our buttocks and our hips in circular rotations. And if we choose, we can add our head to the mix, rotating, yes, and doing circular rotations. Taking a moment to notice how this feels in the body. Maybe it is a relaxing and soothing pose. We're going to hang out here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, bringing our knees inward, coming back to that table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog. As we walk our dog. Head on our feet. As we breathe into a three-legged dog, right side. Lifting that right leg up in the air, gazing back at that foot. Maybe we can slightly bend that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip here. And if we're able, we can flow over to Wild Thing or we can just hang out here. Three breaths. If we're in a Wild Thing that is a full body stretch, tummy comes up in the air. And notice how this is deep. Back bend as well. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that down dog, gazing at our feet. 
Maybe we are walking our dog by pedaling our feet. We're going to find our paws. We're going to come down to a dolphin's pose, coming onto our forearms, giving our bodies a little rest here, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we could take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. And if you choose, maybe you can walk your feet closer towards your torso, noticing how your buttocks comes higher in the air. Yes, this pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. So we're not going to be doing any headstands while we're pregnant here. But um, it is a headstand prep pose. Three more breaths. Dropping to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Relax in the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to do a bonus of three more breaths here. as we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose or puppy pose. Maybe doing three spinal waves. As we find our pause at center, coming back to that tabletop, as we push our bodies up to that down dog, gaze and back at our feet. Maybe walking our dog. As we find our pause, look at a three-legged dog opposite side. Left legs in the air, gazing back at that foot. And if you choose, you can bend that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. Noticing how this feels. And for those who choose, we can hang out here or we can flow over to a wild thing. Feeling that full body stretch. Tummies come up in the air. This is a deep back bend. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Coming out of the pose whenever you need. Exhale back down, dog. Head on our feet, walking our dog. As we bring our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax over our thighs. We can widen our feet a little bit if that feels good for our bellies. Sometimes when we have big bellies, we gotta create some space between our thighs always creating room for baby. With our eyes gaze down, we maybe take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Noticing how this complete forward fold is a soothing, relaxing pose. And if we choose, maybe we can flow into a ragdoll by hugging our elbows from side to side, maybe slightly widening our legs a little bit more in our rag doll for balance. Yes. Noticing how this feels within the body. And if we choose, we can rock our bodies, swaying our bodies from side to side, taking notice of what we feel within our bodies. You may feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. <sighs> You may feel it throughout your spinal cord, lower parts of your back. Four more breaths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. As we flow to a half forward fold, Heart chakra slightly up. Two breaths. Breathing back to a complete forward fold. Exhaling back to half. As we flow to our Tadasana, coming into our standing position, palms are at our side. And maybe we can take a moment to relax our palms onto our bellies. 
allowing our shoulders to melt downward away from our ears. Taking a moment here to check in with baby, seeing how baby is doing. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing our palms to relax on our side, we are in our Tadasana. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, palms are together. We can come to an extended mountain if we choose, meaning our palms are separated. So in our salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. That is the difference. Two breaths. Exhale into prayer. Palms are at heart center, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Shoulder blades melted downward away from the ears. Using this time to go inward with our eyes gazed down. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms above our head in our salute or our extended mountain. Feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, standing crescent moon right side, allowing the body to lean towards the right, feeling that C spine here. Maybe we can slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Crescent moon opposite sides, feeling that C spine. Maybe slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, reading our palms to our prayer. Two breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Come into that half forward fold. Feeling this behind our legs and our hamstrings. Two more breaths. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose. Maybe creating a little bit of space between our thighs and our chair pose for balance. Extending our arms in front of us if that feels good, or we can stay in our prayer hands. Whatever you choose. Tear pose, four breaths. Two breaths. Bringing our palms at heart center. As we tear pose, twist, if we're able. If our tummy's not too big. Exhaling back to center. Tear pose, twist, opposite side. Exhaling back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Maybe waking, making it a wide legged, allowing our tummies to have some space between our thighs here. Eyes are gaze down. Flowing into a rag doll if that feels good for you. Swaying the body from side to side if that feels appropriate. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause if we are swaying, we are in our complete forward fold. Two more breaths. Exhale into our half forward fold. As we breathe to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. <sighs> Slightly coming wide-legged, spreading our legs slightly apart, creating that space, bringing our palms in front of our chest, maybe making a fist if we choose as we come on down to a squat. Squatting our body, not a yogi squat, just a basic squat. We are working on building the lower parts of our bodies, rounding and strengthening and firming the lower parts. We are in our squat. Hanging out here, and we can pulse it up and down, creating more resistance to our legs, Noticing how the burn comes 
just a little more. Squatting is an option. We don't have to squat. We don't have to pause it. I'm sorry. Fill in a burn. Three more breaths. Finding our pause. Coming up to a standing star. Straightening out our legs. Heart chakras open. Palms are off towards the side. Chin is slightly up. We are in our standing star. Three breaths. <sighs> As we exhale back down, we're gonna come into a goddess this time, bringing our feet slightly out, coming into a goddess stance here, yes. This squat pose in a goddess prepares the body for labor. It's opening up and strengthening lower parts of our bodies and our hips. So we are in our goddess pose now, feeling and building strength. And we can pause it up if we are able in our goddess, or we can rock it from side to side if we able, or we can just stay still. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, coming back up to that standing star, legs are straight, palms are off to the side like a star, slightly up. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Exhale back down to that. We can come into a goddess or a squat, whatever you choose, your choice. We're gonna fill into a squat here. <sighs> we can pulse it if we choose. We can rock it, whatever we choose. Four breaths, building strength. Maybe we can switch from goddess to pulse if you choose. From goddess to squat if you choose. <sighs> Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus if we're able. Two more breaths. Flowing into a complete forward fold whenever you need to. <sighs> Finding our pause, complete forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Legs are spread it apart. Palms are on the earth if we can reach. With our eyes gaze down. Noticing how this is a counter pose to what we just did. It relaxes and soothes our legs. Three breaths. And if we're able, maybe we can take both of our hands and connect them to our ankles. Feeling that wide-legged forward fold. Head is melted downward. Body's completely relaxed here. Maybe we can go deeper into this strengthening and lengthening pose by bringing our palms together behind our backs. Palms are closer towards our buttocks. Yes, and maybe we can allow our hands to our arms to just flow over our head. Feeling this body stretch is also a lengthening pose. We're gonna hang out here in our forward fold, whatever feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. If our palms are extended over our head, allowing our palms to melt forward, complete forward fold, palms facing the earth, reaching downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs slightly together. We are back in that down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog if we choose. Finding our paws, maybe flow into a three-legged dog, right legs in the air, nice and high. Noticing that foot. As we breathe that right foot forward, coming into a pigeon pose, right foot forward. Right foot comes in front, back leg is off towards Left leg is off towards the back. <sighs> our heart, our chest is up. We are in our pigeon. And if we choose, we can bring a pillow in front of us and we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon if we don't have a big belly. Flowing slightly down. We can stay up here in our pigeon pose. 
flow into our sleep and whatever feels good for you in your body, allowing our eyes to gaze down and relaxing. Maybe taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Using this pigeon pose to relax and soothe. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. If we're in our sleeping pigeon, we're gonna use our palms to push our torsos away from that leg. Coming out of that sleeping pigeon, as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, maybe allowing our left hand to touch our left leg. And we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid if that feels good for you. Four breaths using a strap to help get into that position if you choose. Two more breaths. Relaxing that leg downward, framing that front thigh as we come to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet, maybe we can walk our dog. And we're going to keep on flowing here. Three-legged dog, left side. Bringing that left leg up. Gazing back at that foot. As we breathe that left foot forward, pigeon pose, opposite side. Left foot comes forward, right leg is straight out towards the back. Noticing how this feels. Using a pillow in front of us if we choose as we flow down to a sleeping pigeon if we are able. If not, we're just going to stay up in our pigeon. If our tummies are too big, Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Heart chakras open. This is a slight back bend. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Coming out of that sleeping pigeon, if we were sleeping, using our palms to push our torsos away from that thigh as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, softly gazing over that right shoulder, allowing our right hand to touch our right thigh. And if we choose, maybe we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid using a strap to help get into this position if you choose. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Two more breaths. Relaxing that leg downward, framing that front thigh. As we breathe in, exhale, down dog. Gazing at our feet. Maybe cuddling our feet, walking our dog. As we flow to our high plank, building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. We can come into a low plank if that feels good for us or flow on down to our knees. Three breaths. <sighs> Drop into our knees as we come into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Now we're in our torso to relax between our thighs if we're in our child's pose. If we're in our puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Heart chakras melted forward into the yoga mat. 
as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing this pose to center and soothe and ground. Natural breaths. Gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes as we find our mind and our body is relaxed, soothed. Noticing how we feel as we hang out in silent meditation with seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side if we choose, if we're able. Using this rock to, soft, to softly awaken the body. Do more breaths. <clears throat> Coming into that extended child's pose or puppy pose, if we wasn't already there, palms are flat on the earth. As we spine and wave our bodies out of this position, wave in the spine. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at table, bringing our knees slightly inward, hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, chin slightly up, feeling this inside the lower spine. Exhale into that cat. Breathing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles behind us, finding our bodies in a seated position. Any seated pose that feels good for you, I am gonna come into a cow face. May you find any seat that you choose. <sighs> ensuring that our ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long. Allowing our shoulders to melt downward away from our ears. Our eyes closed or gaze down. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good. Gazing down. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. Breathe in. Exhale. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing 
ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, practice and self-care is a necessity. For we all know that we cannot pour from an empty cup, which means we must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of another. Self-care is essential. It is a must. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.